Man, it is hot as hell today, which is appropriate because that's exactly where I'm going. I'm about to do something very selfish. I'm about to go in depth about an awesome fragrance that has unfortunately been discontinued. I know, I know. It is still available, and if you stick around to the end of the video, I can show you where you can still get your hands on a bottle. So stick around, guys, if you want to hear more about Aqua Di Gio Absolute Instinct. Hey guys, welcome back to Real Scent Review. Thanks for tuning in tonight. Now, I hope I didn't discourage you with that introduction. I mean, this fragrance is discontinued, but hey, it's amazing. And it is still available, although there is limited stock. So at the end of the video, I'll leave it up to your discretion. If this seems like something that you want to pick up, then you can just go for it. The fragrance in question is Aqua Di Gio by Armani Absolute Instinct. So from this line, everybody's familiar. If you're into fragrances at all, hell, if you've existed in this world in the past 25 years, I guarantee you, you have smelled the original Aqua Di Gio. It is a timeless classic, a modern classic at that. And it is just at one point, it was so ubiquitous. Every guy everywhere was wearing it. It's almost the quintessential high heat summer scent. Very aquatic, floral, citric. It's one of those that if you smell it, you'll immediately recognize it, just like that. And then of course we have Aqua Di Gio Profumo, which is very similar to the original, but this one has an added incense note. And then of course Profondo, similar to the original, but it has a little bit of a modern twist on it with some green and mineralic notes. It's kind of like Aqua Di Gio revamped and made more appealing to the modern audience. And then we had a couple of other ones, most notably Aqua Di Gio Absolu, which is kind of like a more grown up version and more aquatic version of Invictus. Much, much better than Invictus, by the way. If you haven't tried that one out, go try that one out. And then we have this one, Absolute Instinct. Essentially, it's a flanker of a flanker, this being a flanker of Absolute. Now, Absolute was already the most unique addition to this whole line because it was a little bit sweeter. It was a little bit more, you know, closer to what we would call a youthful kind of bubblegummy sweet scent in the same vein as Invictus, although much better, much more aquatic, like I said before. However, Absolute was the most unique out of the line as far as direct comparisons to the original original Aqua Di Gio DNA. It shared nothing with the original Aqua Di Gio DNA. It was very much its own scent. And this one here, although it does retain a little bit of that absolute DNA, it still very much is its own fragrance as well. And I cannot wait to delve into this one, so let's just get right to it, shall we? It's a transparent bottle, kind of has like a brown tinge to it. My favorite part here is the cap. You can see it's made of wood and it has an etched pattern all around the perimeter here. I think it just looks awesome. And then we have the symbol on top here. And on the back, you can notice this is a tester bottle. As soon as it became discontinued, I went around and I bought a tester bottle for a fairly good price. I'm gonna go waste a spray now. Mm, very, very good, powerful atomizer, wide distribution, it's pressurized. That's very good. Okay, so the official note breakdown is the following. In the top, we get sea notes, lemon, bergamot. In the mid, we get seaweed, patchouli. And in the dry down, we get amber wood and ebony wood. Mostly accurate, I gotta admit, but the way I detect things differs a little bit in terms of chronological order. So, what I detect in the top is the following. I definitely get the amber wood and the bergamot right away. Nice mix with some lemon. In the mid, I get driftwood and seaweed. And in the dry down, I get a lot of patchouli and some ebony wood. So right here, if you read both the official note description and my note description, you're gonna realize that it's very different from the original Aqua Di Gio DNA. So in the very beginning here, I do get a little bit of that amber wood. Now, amber wood provides kind of uh, a bubblegummy-ish sweetness. Now, don't get discouraged here. This doesn't smell like childish, youthful cologne. It really doesn't. It's much more than that. But there is a touch of amber wood. Not nearly as much amber wood as Aqua Di Gio's Absolu, but it is still there a little bit. And in the top, it is mixed with a very sharp, effervescent citric bergamot. And there's a little bit of a sweet lemon note there as well. So in the mid, I definitely get 
a lot of seaweed. Now seaweed is a very green, sharp note, very salty, and it smells a little bit like iodine. The seaweed note in this might seem overly sour to some people. It is not the most mass appealing note out there. It is a little bit strong, like I said, very green and sharp, very salty as well. It is not a typical note used in perfumery. However, if you've grown up next to the ocean, you'll know exactly what seaweed smells like. And that's accompanied in the middle by some driftwood. So driftwood, again, very salty, very light, fresh, aquatic smelling wood, very dry as well. This is, you know, it has aquatic notes, but at the same time, I find it to be quite a dry fragrance as well. So that's what I get in the middle. And in the dry down, I get some patchouli and ebony wood. Now, those two notes right there totally differentiate this from anything else in the line, as if it wasn't already unique. But yeah, it's just very different. The patchouli in the bottom here, it's bittersweet, right? It kind of reminds me of like a spicy dark chocolate. And that's actually a pretty accurate description, I would say. And that's mixed with some ebony wood. The ebony wood in this becomes very prominent in the dry down. Now, ebony wood is a very dark, warm, woody note. It reminds me of like an antique made of wood, finished wood. Think of maybe like a grandfather clock or an old chest of drawers or something like that. It has a very warm, dark, maybe a ever so slightly old fashioned kind of smell to it. And for that reason, I don't think it's going to appeal a lot to the younger crowd out there. Whereas other members of this line, especially Absolu, would appeal to younger people out there because of its resemblance to Invictus. This one here really goes off into its own territory. It's very salty, very dark and woody in the bottom. It has that patchouli note and the seaweed note. It's not gonna be for everybody, but I can tell you this. This is absolutely hands down the most unique and in my opinion, the most interesting offering from the whole Aqua de Geo line. This one is, is just phenomenal. It is a masterpiece, if you ask me. And this one, of course, the nose behind this one is Master Perfumer Alberto Morillas. Muchas gracias, Señor Morillas, por bendecirnos con otra obra más que nunca las dejes de crear. So this one here, it's very, it's an artistic fragrance. It's very, it's, you know, it has a little bit of sweetness in the top, yes, but other than that, it goes off in its own direction. I think it's very unique. I love this one. I'm, I'm gonna have to work very hard to conserve what I have left to this bottle because once I run out of this, well, let's just say I hope I don't run out of this. Having said all that, the versatility on this, it does lean a little bit mature, but I think, you know, guys over the age of 25 are going to enjoy this one. Uh, but like I said, it's not, it's not as mass appealing as other members of the line. In fact, it's the least mass appealing of the whole line, in my opinion. Like I said, because of those really heavy, salty seaweed notes and the ebony wood in the bottom, just make this, you know, very interesting, but at the cost of its appeal. However, I can say that I think people who are really into fragrances are gonna love this one. And if you don't already have it in your collection, you should definitely add it because really, there's no other substitute, at least in this line, for Absolute Instinct. Absolute, you know, comes maybe a quarter of the way there, but it doesn't really do it. And other than that, there's just nothing else whatsoever that's remotely similar to this in this lineup. If I could offer another alternative in the designer perfume world that smells somewhat like this, it would be Lo Super Majeure DC by Issey Miyake. They are not identical, but Lo Super Majeure kind of goes in the same direction as this, very salty, very aquatic and woody. Anyway, that's another really good one you should check out. I will be reviewing that one as well. Apart from that, in the high heat, this is absolutely designed for the high heat. The hotter, the more humid, the better. This absolutely thrives in high heat, high humidity situations. You're gonna smell awesome and extremely unique wearing this in the dead of summer. It's awesome, I'd say for outdoor wear. You know, it, it's it's got a little bit of formality to it, but it also has this casualness to it as well. I think you could wear this at an outdoor party in the summer. You know what, I would even I would even kind of throw one or two sprays on before I went to the office. If it was a hot summer's day, I would do it. Definitely gonna be unique. You're gonna have people approaching you, asking you what you're wearing. And I think, I think even though it's not the most mass appealing fragrance out there, 
it's not really gonna turn many people off. Having said that, some people will be sensitive to the seaweed note. So again, just be careful. If you're gonna wear this to the office, one, two sprays max. If you're gonna be outdoors, however, in the high heat situation, say in a big party or on the beach, you can go a little bit more liberal with the sprays. Moving on to performance. It's not a beast mode performer by any means. For example, projection, I get maybe arm's length for the first hour, and then definitely dies down to an elbow's length after an hour and a half. And by two hours, it's you know between an elbow's length and a skin scent. So projection, not crazy, but at the same time, it is above average. Longevity is between seven and eight hours, so nothing crazy, but definitely, again, above average. So you know what? Above average performer, but the DNA, the scent DNA, the way this smells is just phenomenal. It is fantastic. I love it, you know? And actually, if I ever did run out of this bottle, I would pick another one up. I would go to eBay, which is where I'm going to direct you guys. You can find this on eBay if you're in North America or Europe. I'm gonna provide links below this video. Now, about purchasing fragrances or anything for that matter on eBay, I've done it. I've done it many times. Some of these fragrances you see here, I bought on eBay. I've never had a problem buying things on eBay, but a recommendation is this. Always look at the seller's history, look at the seller's profile. I don't buy anything from anyone unless they have minimum, minimum 4.5 out of five stars. So, you know, the point is if they have good reviews, generally they're gonna be a pretty trustworthy vendor and you shouldn't worry about it after that. Also, a lot of the vendors on eBay offer returns. Usually it's up to two weeks after the purchase. Anyway, having said that, as far as my research can tell me, eBay is the only place you can still find this. And I think that if you are into aquatic fresh fragrances, but you just want something that takes that aquatic fresh DNA and just makes it ultra unique, I think you're really gonna like this one. I think you should really check it out. It's ever, ever, ever so slightly challenging, but I think in the right circumstances and with the right amount of application, it's gonna serve you well. And I won't stop recommending this one. It's one of my absolute favorite fragrances. As you can see, it's half gone by now. High heat gem, absolutely. The hotter and more humid it is, the brighter this one shines. So guys, I hope you've enjoyed my review of Aqua Di Gio Absolute Instinct by Armani. It's been a pleasure reviewing this one and I really hope you can get your hands on this one. Anyway guys, until next time, keep it real.